In this lesson, we'll cover some main characteristics of Arabic and the alphabets of Arabic, both vowels and consonants. In order to follow with the classes, please prepare the following. An Arabic keyboard, you will need it to do the exercises, a notebook for keeping the important notes and uh, the new words. Inshallah, by the end of this uh, uh, course, you will have a big amount of words. And if you have some Arabic friends, Please try to process what you learn here with them. In case you don't have any, I have created a Facebook group for this uh, course. So if you would like to join, please let me know in the comments bar. Uh, I will add you or send you the link. This is the Arabic keyboard if you are new to the Arabic language. Uh, you can see the Arabic letters below the English ones. Inshallah you will be familiar with them and their positions very soon. There are several characteristics of Arabic which are very significant to learn and we are going to cover two of them now. Uh, the first one is that the direction of the Arabic language. Arabic is unlike English, it is a right to left language. So we write from the uh, right side to the left and this is applied of course to all the texts of the Arabic language whether they are found uh, in books, journals, websites, etc. This statement which is written in Arabic says which means Arabic language is written from right to left. Um, the second thing that we need to learn is that in order to form a word you need to connect letters uh, with each other. So unlike English, Arabic letters do not come in isolation too. and when you connect the letters with each other the shape of the letters will change so that if you are new to Arabic you might have some difficulty recognizing the letter whether it is the same letter or another one. Let's have an example. This is the uh, letter Kaf which has the sound of K in English and um, these are examples of it. The shape of the letter in the initial position has almost the same shape in the medial one but it is very different from the one in the final position. Uh, I don't want you now to be confused about this because when we will explain the letters in the coming lessons inshallah I will be showing the positions of, the let of each letter so that you can um, identify the letters very easily. Now we will start talking about the alphabet. Arabic has 28 letters. 25 of them are consonants and 3 of them are long vowels. There are 3 short vowels in Arabic. Um, actually they are not letters but some marks that are put over or under a letter in order to help making a pronunciation very nice and smooth. Um, I'm going now to explain the vowels in some details and later we'll explain uh, the consonants very quickly. Let's start with the long vowels. The long vowels are three and they are alif, wow, yeah. Alif has the sound of a just like the one in man. Wow has the sound of u just like the one in long and yeah has the sound of e just like the one in lead. Let's have some examples. This is the letter DAL, which has the sound of D, just like the D of day or DAD. And now I will add the uh, long vowels to it. D and ELIF becomes DA. D and WA becomes DU. D and YA becomes D. So DA, DU, D. An example of DA is DAR. An example of DU is DUR. And an example of D is DIN. Another example is mean. It has the sound of ne, just like the ne in man. And when we add the long vowels to it, it becomes ma, mu, me. Examples of it are mal, which means money, Musa, which is a name of prophet of uh, Musa, and meal, which is mile. Short vowels or what we call harakat. The short vowels are harakat in Arabic. Harakat is the plural of haraka. In English, haraka means movement. The mission of a haraka here is to move a letter, which means it changes the status of a letter from one pronunciation to another. Harakat also help in the syllabification of letters and make smooth the pronunciation. Harakat are very important to master as they change the meaning of words 
even though when they have the same letters. Remember, harakat are not letters. Now let's have them in detail. The harakat are three. They are fatha, lamma, and kasra. The fatha is a slanted small line positioned over a letter. The pronunciation of fatha is the same as the pronunciation of the sound e in the word let. The second haraka is dhamma. It looks like a comma positioned over a letter, and the pronunciation of dhamma is the same as that of the sound u in the word look. The third haraka is kasra. It is a slanted small line positioned below a letter, and the pronunciation of kasra is the same as that of e in the word lit. So fatha is a, dhamma is u, and kasra is a. There are some other harakat which are important to learn. We will consider two of them today and leave the others for next classes. The first one to learn is Shadda. Shadda looks like the English number 3 facing a ceiling. It is equivalent to the stress in the English pronunciation and it simply refers to a double letter. Let's have an example of it. Look at these two words. Apparently they are the same because they have the same letters. Ain, Lam, Mim. But if we notice the harakat over the middle letter, we will get that they are different words. Each has a different pronunciation and a different meaning. Alam and Alam. Notice the stress or the shadda over the middle letter. Alam. The second harakat to learn is sukun. Sukun in English means silence. It is a small circle over letter and it means that this letter has no harakat. Please notice that silence doesn't mean silent, uh, just like the silent letter in English because in Arabic there are no silent letters, all the letters are pronounced. Let's have an example of it. Uh, look at these two words. Without the harakat, they look exactly the same since they have the same letters. But noticing the harakat, uh, the word to the right is pronounced as daraj and the second is pronounced as durj. Notice that there is a sukun over the second letter of the left one, while there is a fatha over the right one. Now remember the harakat. Fatha is a, dhamma is u, kasra is i, shadda is a double letter, and sukun is silence, which means no harakat. Covering the vowels, let's see where to find them in a keyboard. Let's start with long vowels. Alif is found with the same key of H. Wow is found with the key of larger than and Ya yeah is found with D. Now the harakat. Fatha is found with Q. Dhamma is found with E. Kasra is with A. Shadda is with a slight key. And Sukun is found with X. Please notice that in order to type a harakat, you need to press and hold the shift key. So in order to get Fatha, press shift and Q. For Dhamma press shift and E, for Kasa press shift and A, for Sukun shift and X, and for Shadda shift and light key. Of course it is done after you change the language direction into Arabic. Now let's have a very quick view of the Arabic letters. Inshallah I will introduce them in details in the coming lessons starting from lesson number 3. Uh, today I'm going only to show the pronunciation of a letter and um, where to find it in a keyboard. These are the Arabic uh, letters. Alif, Ba, Ta, Ta, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zai, Sin, Shin, Sad, Lad, Ta, Ba, Ain, Rain, Fa, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Nun, Ha, Waw, Ya. Let's start with Alif. Alif has the sound of A, just like the one in Man, and we can find it with the H key in the keyboard. Ba has the sound of B, just like B of Boy, and we can find it with F. Ta has the sound of T, just like the T of Take, and we can find it with J key. Fa has the sound of F, just like the one of Three, and we can find it with E. Jim has the sound of J, just like the J of job, and we can find it with the shorter than key. Ha has the sound of Ha, it is not found in English. Let's have a look at its place of articulation. 
uh, ha is found here and it is made by the center throat please try to pronounce it ha with the center of throat ha ha the position of uh, ha and the keyboard is with p the letter ha has the sound of kh it is not found in english and its a place of articulation is made uh, by the upper throat please try to pronounce it ha 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 can be found uh, with the O he in the keyboard. Dal has the pronunciation of de, just like the de of day, and it can be found with the larger than he. De has the pronunciation of de, uh, just like the de of de. <laughs> that sounds funny. And uh, we can find it in uh, with its light key. Ra has the pronunciation of re, just like the re of ran and it can be found with the wiki Zang has the pronunciation of Z just like the Z in Zebra and it can be found with the shorter than or the dot um, Sin has the same pronunciation of C just like the C of C and it is found with the S key Shin has the pronunciation of She just like the She of Shab and it is located with A Sad has the pronunciation of S there is no equivalent uh, to sod in English. It is an alveolar dental and uh, it is made by the tip of tongue touches the edge of our two front teeth. Try to pronounce it. Sa. Sa. It is not like se. It is a little bit to the back of se. Se. Sa. So there is a difference. Se. This is teen. Sa. This is sod. Sa. Sa. Sod is found with the W key. That has the pronunciation of the and it is not found in English. Actually, with this particular letter, Arabic is known to be called Lugatu Dad, the language of Dad, since this letter is only found in Arabic and not in any other language in the world. Its place of articulation is smaller, where the upturned sides of tongue touches gums of upper back teeth. Uh, actually, the is or dad is problematic for many Arabs because there is another letter which is almost has the same pronunciation which is the or in the reciting Quran there is a special emphasis that people have to uh, make effort to pronounce it correctly uh, please try to pronounce it dad the 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 by the way, it is problematic for some Arabs because it is not found in their accents. Uh, that is found with the Q key. And uh, Ta also has no equivalent in English. It is a little bit harder than uh, T. It is Ba, not T. It is Ba, Ba, not T. Ta is uh, made by the tip of the tongue while Ta is a little bit to the back. Ta is dental where the tip of the tongue touches the gums of our two front teeth please try to pronounce it but 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 is found with the quotation mark but has the pronunciation of the and has uh, no equivalent in english uh, its the place of articulation is uh, alveolar dental the tip of the tongue touches the edges of the upper two front teeth try to pronounce please the 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 Bad is found with a question mark. Ain also has no equivalent in English. It has the pronunciation of A. Ain is pronounced with the center of throat. Try to pronounce it. Ain, A, A. Uh, please notice that it is not A, it is A. It is found with U in the keyboard. Rain also has no equivalent in English. It is R. And it is done by the upper throat. Rain, re, re, re. And it is found with the Y key. Fa has the pronunciation of fa, just like the fa in fat. And it is found with the T. And qaf is not found in English. It has the pronunciation of qaf, is a little bit uh, to the back of k and uh, it is made by the back of tongue rises and touches soft palate so please try to pronounce it it is placed with the uh, r key 
Kaf uh, has the pronunciation of K, just like the K in kick. That is a place with the two dots. Lam has the pronunciation of Le, uh, just like the Le of Le. And it is a place with G key. Uh, Mim has the pronunciation of Me, just like the Me and Man. And it is a place with the L key. Noon has the pronunciation of Ne, just like the Ne and Man. And it is a place with the K. Ha has the pronunciation of He, just like the He and Heart. And it is found with the I key. Uh, please notice that when you press the Ha key, you will get uh, uh, this only uh, little uh, circle. Um, when you connect this to another letter, it will get its own shape. But when you want to type it uh, alone in isolation, you need an extension to show it like this. So uh, you need to press uh, Shift and J key in order to get the H shown here. Wow has the pronunciation of O just like the O of woman. And it is found with the comma. And the last letter is Ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, has the pronunciation of Ya, yeah, just like the Ya yeah of Year, and it is found with the D letter. Covering all the alphabets of Arabic, let's try to read some words. Please repeat after me. Qat, Qat, please notice the kasra here under the Qat, and the sukun over the Ta. So Qat, Qat, Rus, there is a Dhamma over Ra and sukun over z or zai ruz ruz layl layl there is a fatha over the lamb and a sukun over the ya and the last lamb so layl layl fam fam ain ain hud 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 felj felj kursi Percy, midrab, midrab, 